morning, students. Welcome to second quarter. I am your teacher, Teacher Aileen, and I am discussing you about identifying factors and multiples of the numbers. With a learning target, identify factors and multiples of a given number up to 100. Are you ready? Are you excited? Let's start! Get ready! Express each of the following numbers as a product of two numbers. Number 1, 24. What are the two numbers has a product of 24? Very good! It's 6 and 4. Number 2, 50. Absolutely, it's 5 and 10. Number 3, 81. Great! It's 9 and 9. Number 4, 60. Very good, it's 12 and 5. Last but not the least, 100. Excellent! It's 10 and 10. Study the number sentence below. We have 8 equals 2 times 4. The questions are, how are 2 and 4 related to 8? What is the remainder with 8 is divided by 2? And what is the remainder when 8 is divided by 4? Can you think of other numbers that can divide 8 without any remainder? Hmm. We'll find out later. Based from the activity earlier, our first topic is all about Factors. What is factors? A numbers or a whole numbers that can divide the number without remainder. To make things easier, let's have a word equation. A product consists of two factors multiplied by each other. Product equals factor times factor. The numbers multiplied by each other is what do we call factor. Let us all find the factors of 8. For example, let's find the factors of 8 by following this step. Start at 1. Find a number multiplied by 1, the product is 8. Therefore, 1 times 8 equals 8. So put 1 at the start and put its partner 8 on the other end. So let's have to draw a table like this. Since 1 multiplied by 8 has a product of 8, so let's put 1 at the start and put at the end of the table. Then go to 2. Find another factor or another number multiplied by 2 which has a product of 8. Very good! It's 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. So put 2 and 4. Let's have 1 and 8. Then we will now put 2 next to 1 and 4 before 8. Then let's proceed to 3. Find another number multiplied by 3. The product is 8. Yes, very good. 3 is not a factor of 8. So let's have 1, 8, 2, and 4. Then go to 4. Since 4 is 
in the box already. Therefore, we will end and have the result. There is no other whole numbers between 2 and 4 aside from 3. So we are done. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8 only. Is it right? Did you understand? Very good! Let's have another example. Determine the factors of 20. Start at 1. Think of a number multiplied by 1. The answer is 20. Very good! It's 20 itself. Therefore, 1 times 20 equals 20. Let's draw a table like this. Let's put 1 at the first and 20 on the last. Then go to 2. Think of a number multiplied by 2. The answer is 20. Very good! It's 10. Therefore, 2 times 10 equals 20. Let's have our table. We have 1 at the first, 20 on the last, and we'll put 2 next to 1, and 10 before 20. Then go to 3. Yes, very good. 3 is not a factor of 20. So let's proceed to 4. Can you think of a number multiplied by 4? The answer is 20. Yes, very good. 4 times 5 equals 20. So let's have again our table. We have 1, 20, 2, 10. And let's add 4. 4 is in the next of 2. And 5 before 10. So let's proceed to 5. 5 is already in the table. So let's go to 6, 7, 8, and 9. 6, 7, 8, and 9 are not a factor of 20. So we're done. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20 only. Am I understood? Very good! I know that you have understood very well about the factors. So let's proceed another topic. Jana saves from her allowance. She puts 50 pesos in her coin bank every week. How much money will Jana save after 5 weeks? Let us illustrate the problem. By doing and making this table. We have week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, and week 5. Jana saves from her allowance 50 pesos per week. So let's have week 1, 50 pesos. So she has a total of 50 pesos. She added 50 pesos on week 2. So she has a total of 100 pesos. On week 3, she added 50 pesos. Therefore, she has a total of 150 pesos. On week 4, she added 50 pesos again. So she has 200 pesos. On week 5, she added 50 pesos. She has a total of 250 pesos. After 5 weeks, Jana will have 250 pesos. The numbers 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250 are the multiples of 50. Multiples? Teacher, what is multiples? We'll find out later. Multiples. Multiples are the product of a number which multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on.
Okay, let's have an example. Find the first 10 multiples of 11. Okay, step 1. To generate the first 10 multiples of 11, we will multiply 11 by numbers 1 to 10. So we have here 11 times 1 equals 11. 11 times 2 equals 20. 11 times 3 equals 33. 11 times 4 equals 44. 11 times 5 equals 55. 11 times 6 equals 66. 11 times 7 equals 77. 11 times 8 equals 88. 11 times 9 equals 99. And 11 times 10 equals 110. The numbers 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, and 110 are the first 10 multiples of 11. Did you get what is multiples? Very good! For better understanding, we have to practice your skills. Give all the factors of all the following numbers. 25 64 100 50 and 11 Give the first 10 multiples of the following numbers. We have 5, 13, 35, 52, and 40. I know that you can do it. Let's start solving. Just remember this. Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding by William Paul Thurston. Therefore, to solve the problems intended in mathematics, practice, read, and solve. Again, thank you for listening. Goodbye!